In 1904, the Italian prince Piero Ginori Conti invented the first geothermal power plant at the Lardello Dry Steam Fields in Italy. Now, the first modern geothermal power plants were also built in Lardello, Italy. They were destroyed in World War II and rebuilt. Today, after 90 years, the Lardello field is still producing. The first geothermal power plants in the U.S. were built in 1962 at the Geysers Dry Steam Field in Northern California. It is still the largest producing geothermal field in the world. Twenty plants are still operating at the Geysers. Wastewater from nearby cities is injected into the field, providing environmentally safe disposal and increased steam to power the plants. Flash steam power plants use hot water reservoirs. In flash plants, as hot water is released from the pressure of the deep reservoir in a flash tank, some of it flashes to steam. But 90 years after the Italians invented it, we in California are not serious. Although we share the same geology and tectonic activity, they have moved forward with ambitious geothermal projects, much like what is being done in Iceland. The Bush administration is not serious as well. In the new budget for 2007-2008, they asked for zero dollars for this power source, geothermal energy, which could easily supply up to one-tenth of the nation's electricity needs for the cost of one billion dollars, the same amount of money needed to build just one coal-fired power plant. The American people and people worldwide understand that the climate crisis must be confronted. It is 2007 now. Al Gore is still playing the role of climate crisis messenger, a role that he has filled off and on for 30 years, and he is not even nearly the first to do so. Watch a clip of The Unchained Goddess produced by Frank Capra. Extremely dangerous questions, because with our present knowledge we have no idea what would happen. Even now, man may be unwittingly changing the world's climate through the waste products of his civilization. Due to our release through factories and automobiles every year of more than six billion tons of carbon dioxide, which helps air absorb heat from the sun, our atmosphere seems to be getting warmer. This is bad. Well, it's been calculated a few degrees rise in the Earth's temperature would melt the polar ice caps. And if this happens, an inland sea would fill a good portion of the Mississippi Valley. Tourists in glass-bottomed boats would be viewing the drowned towers of Miami through 150 feet of tropical water. Foreign weather were not only dealing with forces of a far greater variety than even the atomic physicist encounters, but with life itself. <laughs> 